All right, Stock Monster fans, been needing to watch this for a long time. It's been a long time, too. It is Time Rider, The Adventure of uh, Lyle Swan. Let's check it out. New world of time travel. Yes, you heard that right. Time travel has been invented. And they're about to do some tests out in the desert. Fred Ward plays Lyle Swan, motocross racer. I'm a transfer. Pretty hard dance without music. It's okay now. I think I got it fixed. Come on. Unbeknownst to the scientists, Lyle has ventured off course and is right in their range where they're going to do their time travel test with an animal. Now they know someone went through and they're going to try to zap him back before anything happens. But when Lyle drives off, they miss him. Now he doesn't know it, but he's been zapped in time, back in time to 1877, where nobody has seen the likes of him before. Are you okay? Peter Coyote plays Reese, local outlaw. All around bad guy. Dumb damn deal, huh? Here we meet Claire. Played by Belinda Bauer. Back to Reese again. Claire goes and tells the Padre what she saw. This man, he rode this machine like a horse. Did you follow on this machine? Well, I tried. But... Meanwhile, Reese and his posse keep trying to catch Lyle and his machine. But Lyle ain't having it. Reese ends up going to that tower where Claire lives and the Padre is. She offers to hide him in, well, a basement, I guess. Uh, holy water! Fire! This is a man! He is not the devil! No, it's the other! And who is this devil man? Wow, well, still has no idea what's happened to him. My motorcycle, I'll ride out of this town and, and I'll never look back. I, I don't know what it is that you, that you people are doing, and I don't want to know, and I won't say a word. She has other ideas for uh, Lyle, though. You taught me to shoot and lie. I went to school there. The Civil War came. My brothers and my father were killed. Some guy found Carl's tapes, Lyle's tapes. Now coming down the stairs are some of Reese's men. I lost my temper. He finds the marshal after his motorcycle Somebody gets stolen. Stole my bike. His machine. Okay, my machine. Someone took my machine. And they took Claire. So now Reese has the motorcycle. <laughs> but he doesn't know how to use it. But one of his men tries to try. <laughs> Marshall and Lyle, a few others, go on a rescue mission. Where the hell we come from? Lyle is eventually able to find his bike. And 
rescue Claire. Now they're on the run. Then they'll let us go. But wouldn't you know it, Lyle's radio starts to work. They came looking for him and then went back in time to get him. on he's trying to get Claire to go with him but instead she just takes his necklace which he had told her was a gift from his grandmother years ago or great great grandmother or something who of course is Claire and that's our movie all right let's talk about Time Rider the adventure of Lyle Swan this movie I had on a beta tape uh, it was actually one of the earliest movies I taped probably within the first 50 or so. I taped it maybe February, March, or 19, 1985. Had it on a beta tape, a scotch tape, with um, uh, Jaws of Satan and Strange Brew. Uh, quick fact on that particular tape, I used to plan what I was going to have on each tape, and you could fit four and a half movies on a beta tape, so I would look at the running times to figure out what will fit. Now, this particular one was going to go five minutes over, so I was really worried. I didn't realize at the time that tapes have more than what they say, uh, but I didn't know that. So I cut off the credits to Time Rider. I cut off the te credits of Jaws of Satan because I wanted the full credits of Strange Brew because they talk at the end, and I can't miss that. Well, of course, I taped that Strange Brew, and there was still like 10 minutes left at the end of the tape, so I had plenty of room, uh, which kind of sucked because I did not have a complete version of Jaws of Satan because with, you know, with the credits until... Um, much later, there was a cheap LP videotape that came out, but it didn't come out on Blu-ray until like 2016 or something like that. So, but I have it now. Anyway, I digress. Time Rider, Lyle Swan. Fred Ward plays this motocross rider, um, and he's just doing his thing in the desert. Unbeknownst to him, the government or some scientists have created time travel. They're going to experiment with an animal. Well, they're going to do it in the desert, of course. Uh, Lyle gets in front of their zapper thing, and he gets zapped back in time to 1877. He has no clue. In fact, I don't know if he ever finds out he was put back in time in this movie. Uh, but he has no clue what's going on. He runs into people, and he's like, hey, can you help me? I'm lost, blah, blah, blah. They're freaking out because they've never seen a guy dressed like him before on a machine uh, <laughs> that runs. Uh, without the benefit of a horse. Uh, he ends up meeting this woman who kind of helps him. He also runs into an outlaw named Reese, uh, Porter Reese, played by uh, Peter Coyote. Uh, P uh, Reese wants the motorcycle for himself so he can be super bad guy, I guess. Um, and he ends up taking shelter in this like uh, Mexican village uh, uh, in the basement of this church or something where um, Belinda Bauer, who plays Claire, helps him out. She also has sex with him at one point. Good for him. Um... Uh, meanwhile, at, uh, at one point, uh, Reese does manage to steal the bike, kidnap Claire. So Lyle's got to go rescue her with the help of the Padre and a couple other people. And they do that. Uh, but meanwhile, the next day, they're on the run. The, the, uh, Reese and his posse are chasing them through the desert and up the mountains and things, trying to catch them. Meanwhile, back in 1982 or whenever this came out, those people are trying to get Reese back. Um, I'm sorry, get Reese back. They're trying to get Lyle back. So they've managed to go back in time themselves, and suddenly Lyle's radio starts working, and uh, they end up showing up with a helicopter uh, just in time. Uh, the motorcycle falls off the cliff. It's destroyed. Uh, uh, Reese is distraught. Lyle jumps on the, mo on the helicopter. He's trying to get Claire to come with him, but she refuses. Instead, she grabs his uh, necklace to keep, a necklace that he had told her, I was given to him by his grandmother, and it was like a gift from his great-great-grandmother or something. Well, it turns out, of course, that the woman is his great-great-grandmother, the woman he slept with, by the way. So I guess he'll get it back, uh, kind of like uh, the glasses in Star Trek IV when Kirk was talking about selling those. Anyway, uh, so that's the movie Time Rider. Now, again, I always like this movie. It's, it's, it's a little cheesy, I think, but it's pretty well done, actually, if you ask me. And there's some funny bits in it, too, especially when one of the guys from... Uh, uh, Reese's crew tries to start the motorcycle himself, and of course, there's the one guy who pressed uh, the cassette tape and got blasted with music while he had the helmet on, which we saw a couple years later in Back to the Future, a very similar scene. 
So, yeah, that's it. Now, I think th this is an Anchor Bay release, and I got this when it first came out. Apparently, it's, it's a little more sought after these days, this movie, so it's a little pricey. I think another DVD came out, and I actually think somebody released a Blu-ray of this. I don't know if it was Shout Factory or who, but a couple years ago, Blu-ray Blu came out, and apparently that Blu-ray is very, very expensive now, so... Um, you're going to pay a pretty penny for it if you, if you manage to track it down. So I'm glad I have this DVD because I don't want to spend big bucks to get it again. Um, so I'm glad I got it 15 years ago or whenever the hell I got it. So anyway, it is a good movie. Uh, one complaint, I read online there's a couple different versions of this. Um, I seem to remember, and, and this is a version actually, uh, Reese gets killed at the end of this movie because he gets sliced by the blades of the helicopter. And I think they show his boots on the ground, like the bloody boots, um, like with his feet still in them. And then, but that was cut out of this scene for some other reason. In this movie here, this version, Reese didn't die. He just was kind of cowering on the mountain as the helicopter picked up Lyle. So weird. But apparently, I don't know if the, the Blu-ray has the full version like that, but apparently there's a Spanish DVD out there that does have that version. In it. And I'm pretty sure my videotape version has that as well. So I could pull that out if I was really interested in doing that. But I'm not. So anyway, I like this movie. This movie I want to revisit every few years because it's cool. But I haven't seen it in probably 25 years, if not even longer. So, But it's a fun movie. Highly recommend it. I'll leave a link down below if you're looking for it on Amazon. And you want it. Get it. Buy it. Click that link. And um, watch it. Leave some comments. Bye.